So hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Moji and for those of you guys who are new to my channel, on my channel I make a lot of opinion videos and video essays and kind of just videos that interest me because it's my channel so I, I can make whatever I want. So for today's video, I'm going to be talking about Candace Owens once again because I'm always talking about Candace Owens on my channel. She's just someone that really interests me. I don't know, there's something about her that is just interesting and I can't look away. So I'm going to be talking about this whole Ca Candace Owens and Cardi B thing. I'm kind of late. Late. It happened a week ago. So if I sound kind of low energy today, it's because I feel kind of sick, but I still wanted to film something. So firstly, I just wanted to say, isn't it weird how Candace Owens and Cardi B, they're always fighting? Like, it's so weird to me. And whenever I see them, like, arguing online, it really reminds me of this episode of The Boondocks where um, Riley gets called the N-word. And then you have Rollo Goodlove, who is kind of this caricature of um, a black activist that sees black people being mistreated as an opportunity to gain so for example the whole black lives matter organization they are the family at the center of this controversy let me ask you why does that word still have so much power well larry king that's a very good question uh which reminds me of an upcoming episode we did on my dad rollo which premieres <laughs> next month on black entertainment television thank you matter of fact i brought a clip of it if you'd like to see it um sure thing if we have it ready let's uh, go to the clip stuff we have a wonderful cast and they work so very hard every day and the writers give us fantastic material so now about this incident what is it that you're talking about <laughs> all right and coulter who is kind of this like conservative white woman but then at the end of the episode you see how they're actually friends and they're just doing it to make money This whole time, you guys have been working together? Yeah, silly. I told you I had it covered. I'm confused. Me too. I thought Ann Coulter hated everybody. Who, Ann? No, man. She just do that to get that redneck money. Let me tell you something about Ann. When a nigga need a nemesis, she helps me out. Even a Republican? <laughs> Hell no. You think I like going out there and saying this ridiculous shit? <laughs> So then why do it? Because a bitch got books to sell, that's why. Ain't no money in trying to save the world. So every time I see Candace Owens and Cardi B fighting, it always reminds me of that episode because I'm like, what if they're like secretly friends and they're just doing it for attention? So firstly, let's just talk about what happened. There was a Grammy performance. I have never seen the Grammys in my whole entire life. I don't plan on watching it. I don't watch award shows just because I don't care. So. There was a whole Grammy performance in which um, Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion, they performed their song. They performed WAP and um, it was a very vulgar performance, it was very sexual and Car Candace Owens, she just really hated it. She really did not like it. Any words about it, they call this great. They say this is fabulous, that this is, this is the stuff that children should be aspiring towards. So at the same time, Tucker, that we have kids that are not learning hard academics anymore in school, right? Forget about mathematics and science. You can trust the science and trust Dr. Fauci. But you have these kids learning about critical race theory. You know, they're learning that they should aspire to people like Cardi B. That you, you see that fundamentally we are seeing the destruction of American values, American principles. And it's terrifying. I think parents should be terrified that this is the direction that our society is heading towards. And again, we are weakening america that's that's really what we should be talking about this is a weakening of american society but honestly whenever candace owens talks about black culture it just makes me very uncomfortable and i feel like this is for every black conservative and i'm not against black conservatism but i do have my viewpoints on it and whenever i see candace owens like talk about how things are impacting black culture i just feel like it's just very disingenuous and I just don't like it makes me very uncomfortable but Cardi B she tweeted yay we made it to Fox News guys so Cardi B was being um petty and she said that and this Owen she replied just at me next time directly you're a cancer cell to culture young black girls are having their minds poisoned by what you are trying to package and sell to them as empowerment I'm one of the few that has the courage to tell you the truth you should thank me and then um Cardi replied Matter of fact, I'm going to thank Candy. She put my performance on Fox News, giving it more views that boosted the views on YouTube and is counting towards my streams and sales. Stream up and WAP. Remember, grown parents, only you can monitor what your parents watch, no one else. So this is where my problem lies. 
this whole idea that culture doesn't have an impact on your children i feel like is very delusional and i don't understand why people are so quick to be like you're you're a parent you're the one that should be watching and monitoring what your child is watching but when your child isn't with you they're out with their friends and they're on social media they're seeing what's going on in the world and people like in pop culture or people who are famous who want to kind of put the blame on the parents they're like oh you're the parents you're the ones that should be watching what your children are doing but it's like are you with your child 24 7 and if you are with your child 24 7 then people are going to call you an overbearing parent and they're going to say you're strict and if you're not strict enough then you're a horrible parent so it's just weird to me how like in this culture we kind of want to take away the blame from celebrities when we know that pop culture has a significant impact on our generation and the way that we see things so if we're constantly seeing like these women who have plastic surgery huge houses and they're getting attention from men because of the way that they look then obviously young girls are going to see this and they're going to think oh i have to look like this to get attention so it's just weird to me how cardi b she could say oh like oh parents you're the ones that are sh that should be monitoring what your children are doing but whenever people say that it just makes me like it puts an uneasy like feeling in my soul because i'm like are you really gonna sit there and say that parents are the ones that like raise their children and you're gonna say that culture doesn't have an impact on the way that children view themselves in the world the thing i wanted to talk about was the over sexualization of the female black body and by by society and by black women i feel like there was a certain point when i was on instagram all i would see were like ass pics like I feel like I'm gonna sound like super pick me or super conservative in this video, but it's like, why do I have to see your ass all the time? Like, why do I have to see it all the freaking time? So at a certain point, I did follow a lot of celebrities, but now I literally don't follow any celebrities. I follow like influencers, but like that's for like fashion content or if they're pretty, cause I just, I'm shallow, but literally any, like I've never followed Cardi B on Instagram. I don't follow any like, celebrities or like rap celebrities because i just i don't know there's something just really i don't understand how we're just so desensitized to sexuality and sexuality isn't a bad thing obviously it's really not but i feel like there's a unhealthy obsession with sexuality and there's an unhealthy obsession with black women and sexuality so the thing that really bothers me it's like why do i have to know like why do i have to know all of this information why couldn't you keep all of that information to yourself and if you don't want to hear about it or if you say this makes me uncomfortable then you're a bad guy it's like why do i have to know this information like this is really tmi this is too much like i'm seeing too much i'm hearing too much like b i personally have never liked cardi b i just there's something about her i just really don't i don't find her entertaining i don't find her funny i just feel like she's loud and she's like that stereotypical caricature of like black women and i just don't support it well, i low-key do not like cardi b like i don't think i've ever liked cardi b for me she's just like mm. this push of sexuality and over sexuality over sexualization and it's like we understand yes sex sells but like too much sex so desensitized to it like i'm just so desensitized to it at this point and it's not normal it really isn't so really unhealthy and i feel like it's not like healthy conversations that are being spoken about up towards sexuality it's really like unhealthy and vulgar this does have an impact on younger generations and that's why i said i agreed with candace owens with this because it does have an impact on the way that younger girls are going to see themselves because you can see that younger girls are like trying to change themselves already like getting fillers or even on tiktok like you wouldn't even know a 14 year old is a 14 year old unless they said it so there really is like this push to grow up and to fit into the society that wants you to be a certain way because of like this weird political agenda to like normalize things that should not be normalized or to just normalize everything and it's like there's some things that are just like there's a line that just should not be crossed and i don't understand why it's just so hard to admit that and it's just i don't know people just find it so hard to just admit when something is ludicrous like it's really not that hard and i feel like it's because as i've spoken about in my unpopular unpopular opinions video there is this push of like this mob mentality and when there's like a mob that is telling you that what you what you think is wrong then obviously you don't want to feel that pressure and you don't want to feel like you're the bad guy so you're going to integrate and assimilate to things that you don't believe in <laughs> so the thing about black women is black women are constantly seen as sexual objects like 
it's been around it's been like that forever like black women are seen as sex objects so when whenever <laughs> this is gonna sound so fucked up but like whenever you put yourself out there like cardi b or like megan the stallion it's like you're fitting into the stereotype of black sexuality and it's not empowering at all i truly don't see what's empowering about it because the only people that are really looking and checking for it are men so it's like kind of seeking men valid male validation but also I will talk, make another video about male rap, male rap, men rapping, because this video is going to sound biased, but I said sexuality is commodified, and I'm not only talking about women here, I'm talking about men as well, like, everyone is to blame for this, so whenever you see black women as sexual, like, black women in, in the media, they fit into the stereotype of black sexuality and black women being seen as sexual objects, but I feel like it's different for white women and white feminism. So we see a lot of like white feminism online and white feminism on TikTok, but the thing about white women and like sexuality, it's like white women, they could turn off their sexuality at any point and they could be seen as like these like frail, oh, frail. <laughs> I didn't mean frail, I meant fragile. It can be seen as like fragile objects that, oh, objects. Yeah, objects, because women are seen as objects either way. But they can be seen as these fragile objects that can be taken care taken care of and they're not seen as like these sexual objects, at least not as much as black women. So whenever it's like white feminism that's like pushing for more sexuality, it just makes me uncomfortable because it's like you guys can like turn off your sexuality at any point and like just be seen as like women or like women to be taken care of but black women are constantly seeing as sexual objects so it's just really this weird thing that's going on and i just don't understand it because it's like that's like their feminism like white feminism and like feminism for black women is completely different and the things that black women and white women are fighting for are completely different so it's just that's just not something i agree with i just feel like it's really annoying but anyways that's what i wanted to talk about i feel like when i'm low energy i'm a lot more disrespectful than i am when i'm high energy so <laughs> i don't know if i'll refilm this video but i feel like i was very blunt in this video usually i would try to sugarcoat stuff but today i'm just feeling really nauseous so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did agree with me then like comment down below and tell me what you think if you disagreed comment down below tell me what you think um hope you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up make sure to like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video